Uh, no, we just want to get inside. Okay. Yeah, he left two weeks ago, owing three months' rent. He said he was going to open up a store, but I never saw any sign of it. He lived upstairs. Flaked like that, I should have known he didn't have the balls for retail. Good location, huh? Prime retail space. You know, you could... Who am I trying to kid? Close the door behind you, will you? Thank you kindly. There's nothing up there. What do you got? Ah. I was hoping you wouldn't do stuff like that. Like what? Uh, taste stuff. Well, it's the only way to know what you've got. Hey. What do you got? Mud. Right. Tracked in on the shoes of two different individuals. Well, that's great. All we got to do is find some mud, and we got our guys. It won't be that simple. Yeah, no, there's not just mud. There's concrete mixed in with it. Yeah. When? Right away. We got to go. Inspector Thatcher. Ah, Inspector Mulligan. You're a hard man to reach. We're about 50 miles from a phone by dog sled. 50 miles by dog sled from a phone. Well, perhaps it wasn't so terribly urgent after all. What? At any rate, uh, now that I have you on the line, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions about Constable McKenzie. Yes, Maggie. She what? Tommy Ellis yesterday. Yeah, what happened? He got himself shot last night. Last night? Constable McKenzie was here last night. Yeah. For you. Hello? Hi, Inspector. I see. Thank you kindly. It would appear that Constable McKenzie's status is something of a question mark. She. We would like to know. She went to question the guy last night. He turns up dead today. The constable phrase Wolf is also missing. You know, technically, she's not a constable. She's been suspended. Suspended? Well, she's convinced the Torelli brothers killed her husband. Her husband? Those guys killed her husband? Hang on, hang on a second. She came to Chicago on the trail of the killers of her husband? Exactly. Do you know about this? Uh, well, sir, I... Well, there's a lot she hasn't been telling us. She's been obsessed with these men, convinced they're the killers, in spite of the fact that they both have airtight alibis. Her behavior became erratic, and her superior officers felt she was becoming a danger to the community. So they suspended her. So we led a nutcase right to the guy she wanted to kill? Mm, no, not exactly, sir. We were unable to locate the men she wanted to kill, sir, if indeed she wanted to kill them at all. So you're too incompetent to lead her to the guy she wanted to kill, so you lead her to some other guy who she whacks. Is that about it? Well, I wouldn't put it like that, sir. How would you put it? Well, sort of like that. We don't know that she killed him, sir. And we don't know she didn't. How could this happen, Constable? She seemed, uh, credible. You mean because of the uniform and who she was? In Constable Fraser's defense, she did put up a very convincing front. And you never checked out her story? No, sir, I'm sorry. As commanding officer, I will be taking disciplinary action. Oh, I bet you will. Becky, yo, you go find her and find her quick. While you still have your shield. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Fraser, but you have to learn. People can't be trusted. Yes, sir. Hey, I got something about your case. Don't all thank me at once. The victim. The husband. The husband? I don't know about that. His name's Casey Richmond. He's an associate of the Trolley Brothers. It's another bank robber. A cop married to a bank robber. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Why can I not read women? I mean, I, I try, but I always get it screwy. Uh, um, and this one I like. Oh, you don't like her now? She lied. 
Well, possibly. Oh, possibly, Fraser. I mean, she 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 played us like a couple of them sport fish that are easy. Oh, Christ on a bike. You're not really going to eat those. That's like a meat. I've seen all year. I mean, you can get pretty good veggies from the dumpster back in Moldymark, but meat, well, you wouldn't want to know. Yeah, but those are... Yeah, tasty little buggers. So easy to catch, you wouldn't believe. Would you like to try it? No, thanks. You know, Ray, the chunk of block with protein. And actually, the neighborhood could benefit from a little rodent control. You always got to look on the bright side of things, Fraser. Is that a defect? Yeah, no, but it's kind of dumb. Oh, uh, possibly. So you're still going to try to protect her? Who, Rosie? No, Maggie. Oh, yes, yes, now more than ever. But you don't even know who she is. I intend to find out. Her father's name is Matt Stern, a sometime geologist and prospector who was killed in a mine collapse in 1969, April. The man she married called himself Casey McKenzie. Is there anything to link him to Casey Richmond? Nothing, sir. 